Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 291, here comes the first question in the queue. My name is Sanchez Today, I am working as a software developer for at Adobe and here I present Lead Code Weekly Contest 291. The problem that we have in today is, remove digits from number to maximize result. Here in this question, we are given a string that contains only numbers in it, that means numeric digits and we are also given a character digit. What do we need to do? We need to remove this character digit only one time from this number string such that the remaining value is maximized for example here they have provided us with number one two and three the digit happens to be three that means you have to delete this digit three from the string what is the remaining value it is 12 there's only one option of doing it therefore the answer becomes 12. here the digit is one and the number is one two three one there are two options either you can delete this one the first one or the last one when you delete the first one what do you get you get 231 when you delete the last one what do you get 123 123 is lower than 231 as a result of which the answer becomes 231. Let's quickly hop on to the presentation where I'll be explaining you the algorithm as well as walking through various test cases so that we can arrive at a solution. Lead code double to five nine, remove digits from numbers to maximize result. This is an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case you have, if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you wanna ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are mentioned in the description below so let's take few examples so that we get a good hold of the concept let's hypothetically assume that the input number is given to us as 7 8 7 9 8 6 7 4 2 9 we are only allowed to de delete one digit from the number and let's consider the case where the input digit is given to us as 7 what do we need to do? We need to maximize the result after the deletion. So how many possibilities does exist? Either you can remove this seven or you can remove this seven. So when to take the call, let's iterate through the input string and analyze it up. So the first seven that you see immediately after that, you can see that the value happens to be greater in nature. The immediate next value is greater as a result of which, if you are going to delete this seven up, the value will be maximized. Therefore, as soon as we see an immediate value that is greater than the current digit to be deleted, we are going to shoot for it. We are going to delete that digit down. We have identified that position appropriately. So once the deletion is done, what is an answer left? We have 9867429. Let's walk through the next example. Here the number is given to us as 7543798. Again, there are two options, either delete this 7 or this 7. Let's iterate over it. The first character that we see is 7, it's equal. The next character that we see is 5. Here we can see that the immediate next character is lower in value than the digit to be deleted. As a result of which, we are going to skip this up. So let's look out for more 7 in, in the input string. And the next 7 occurs over here. And here we can see that the immediate next character to 7 is greater. As a result of which, we are going to delete this up. So the output string becomes 7, 5, 4, 3, 9 and 8. Let's walk through the next string. Here again there are three possibilities of 7. This, this, this and uh, let's iterate over it. Again the immediate next value is lower as a result of which we are going to look out for more possibilities. Here again the immediate next value is lower. We'll look out for more possibilities. Here uh, the value is higher. 8 is higher than 7 as a result of which we are going to delete the 7 up. So the answer becomes 7, 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 2, 8, 9. Let's walk through the last test case, which is very interesting. Here there are four sevens. And which one to pick up? If you carefully observe that, then you will see that every element next to seven is of lower value. So this is of lower value, this is of lower value, this is of lower value, this is of lower value. Then which seven to pick up? We will be picking up that seven which occurs in the last of the entire string. So which, uh, which 7 occurs in the last, this 7 occurs in the last, as a result of which we will simply delete this number. So the answer becomes 7, 1, 2, 3, 2, 7, 1, 3, 2, 7, 4, 3, 5, 5. And to conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section where I will exactly follow the same steps as I have just talked here. So here I have taken a pointer which, which using which I will iterate over the input number and wherever I see the i minus one character happens to be equal to digit and my ith character, the next immediate character is greater in value than my previous character. That simply means that I have found the exact digit and my next character is greater than the previous one. That means I have to delete the current index, uh, the number, the digit at the current index. 
therefore to generate that number i have used, used substring helper method uh, the first substring would be from 0 till i minus 1 and the second one would be starting from i up till the end of the string i simply generate this new string and return this up once i am done with this loop in case my answer is not returned what do i do i identify the last dis uh, last instance of my digit that is present in my number and i extract that index i create the answer string and return it up so let's try this up accept it awesome the time complexity of this approach is order of n where n signifies the length of the input string and the space complexity is constant time with this let's conclude this session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you in some time with the next question of the weekly contest